it's time for us to copy our files from our local um, local machine to the server production environment. There are many different ways to do this. Uh, we will start from the beginning with the most simple way and that is just copying the files from our local machine to the production environment. However, there are many problems with this, of course. I mean, uh, we will we will see what's wrong, but but I mean, in a, in a more professional environment where you are many uh, people working together in a project, you would probably need to get the files directly from, for instance, GitHub or GitLab down to that production machine in some way using, for instance, a continuous integration pipeline. Uh, but I mean, we need to start somewhere and, and the first lesson is to uh, just copy a simple file from one machine to another. And this is good knowledge to have because you will find yourself in situations where you need to do this. So let's look at where we are. Uh, in On the, the, the left hand side, we have a simple express example. So this is my working directory. Uh, and in this one, I just have a simple a Node Express application with Node modules and Git files and things like that. On the uh, right hand side, uh, we have our um, uh, production environment with, uh, uh, in this case, uh, three folders in the VVV folder, crude, Express app and HTML. And, and what I would like to do is to create a folder called web app on, on uh, the production server and copy all the files to that uh, location. So uh, um, there is a neat command called scp secure copy. It, it works like the copy command locally, but it y utilizes the fact that we have port 22 open on this remote server. And port 22, that's a SSH traffic. So uh, scp will copy files using tunneling that them, those files over SSH. Um, and that's a good thing because we don't have any other way of getting the files to this server. We don't have FTP or something like that open. So we need to use SSH. Um, so we will try this command. Um, what I would like to copy is uh, a folder. I would like to copy all the files in this specific folder. So I will use the recursive flag option. I would like to copy all files from this folder. Uh, and I will get back to the dot uh, because this differs a bit between operating systems right now. Uh, and uh, if I didn't had added my uh, my PEM file, my key file to the keychain or as a, using SSH add, I could just um, in the same way I use the I flag on SSH when logging into a server and pointing to the um, pen file, I could do the same thing here. I could do something like uh, the SSH uh, and one DV pen. Uh, however, in my case, I've already added my pen file to my keychain, so it will send my uh, it will encrypt the, the traffic with my my uh, pen file and send it to to the server that will recognize this um, as me. So so I don't need to do that. I can remove that one. Um, the next thing we need to specify is where to copy this to. And I would like to copy this to Ubuntu uh, at one. Oh, oh, sorry. And and if you are using the I flag, I think you need to have it before the dot uh, because it's flags, it's from and it's to. So Ubuntu at 194.47.176. In my case, the next you, you specify colon and you tell uh, where to copy those files. And I would like to copy them to var vvv web app in my case, like that. Uh, if I try to do this on Mac, we will get unexpected file name dot. And this has to do with some implementations in newer versions of SCP. It worked to have a dot before, but they have removed that possibility uh, due to some special cases. Uh, there is another way of, of reaching files on Mac OS. Probably if you're on Linux and Windows, this might work. You might be able to work with a dot. But in my case, I need to uh, instead use the special PVD command that actually points to 
the directory in which I'm right now and I need to echo it using the dollar sign to get it to the command. Uh, so we can try this. Uh, however, try to replace it with a dot. It might work on your system. Permission denied. Why is that? Well, uh, it is trying to create something on this side. Uh, and on this side, in the VVV folder, uh, Ubuntu doesn't have any permissions to create a folder, for instance. It's only root, the root user that are able to do that. So what we need to do is to create this folder and we do that by using the sudo. If, if I were to, to try to uh, make directory web app like that, it would just say permission denied. And that's the same thing that we get on, on, on the, using the secure copy. So I need to do a sudo make directory web app. Okay, um, I did that. If we look at the uh, permissions, we can see that the root is the owner of this. Um, it has the same same rights, but the problem is the root, root is owner of the web app. So we need to change owner. And we do that by the command change owner uh, on to to what user would we like to change the ownership to ubuntu in this case what folder do we or file do we want to change the permissions for its web app like that um, so if we have a look now we can see that the web app has the ubuntu user as as uh, the owner now we can try this one once again now it starts copying files. Um, and now we can also see the first problem with this. So, so this command just copies all the files. And, and what files do I have on my, uh, in my repository? Uh, well, I have git files. I have the node modules folder and a lot of like stuff that aren't supposed to be on the uh, production server. Now this was a fairly small project. The only dependency I had was uh, Express. Um, so it went fairly quick. Uh, and we can have a look in this. Uh, uh, like that. Oh. oh, now it has copied everything into a subfolder of that folder. Then we need to copy files from this one. I thought actually that it would not do that, but it did. Hmm. Let's try one. I, I'm, I'm a little cur curious since it, this hasn't been the case before. If I add a dot to because we can do it like this. Uh, so just let's see what that says. That if we add slash dot to that, could we do that actually? No, then we get the same result once again. Hmm. Okay, uh, then we need to get the files from this folder to its uh, folder below it. Okay, it just had to reset and try some things out, but, that, but it's quite simple actually. So the, we, I've recreated this, so we are in the uh, simple uh, express example like that. Uh, and in this case, we could just copy the files from this directory to the, 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 the directory above. Uh, oh, and we of course need to specify the recursive flag. Um, then we could remove simple express uh, example. And this is also a directory, so remove minus RF. Uh, and now we have all the files in this directory. And we, as we can see, we also have the git directory. Of course, we could remove that one. Uh, we could probably remove git ignore and we could remove node modules. The problem now is that node modules in this case is installed like we installed it on our development, uh, development environment and we might not want that. So I would actually argue to, 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 to remove the node modules and do an MPN I minus production to make sure that the installation of, of the packages are, are in production mode. And now we have a simple uh, node application and I could probably do an MPM 
start on, on that one and it's listening on port 3000 in this case. So, so, so this works. Is it a, 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 a easy way to do this? No, as you saw, we have all kind of, kinds of problems with like using the secure copy with getting the files in the wrong directory and things like that. So I will actually show you uh, a, another way. Um, and that another way is to use a, 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 a tool for this. And there are many out there. And I'm, I'm just used to, to working with a tool called FileZilla. And I've used this for so long. So, so, so I'm, I'm just used to it. There, is, there are probably better tools out there, but, but, but I like this one. Um, so this is a graphical user interface, more or less, of what we just did. So on the, still on, on the left-hand si side, we have my local simple express example uh, directory. On the left-hand side, we're not connected to any server yet. Uh, we could just write simple connection up here. However, in this case, uh, we cannot connect using SSH. So we need to go into the hosts. Uh, I have created a new site called demo in this case. Uh, I write my host IP, uh, the port we do not need to specify since we are doing an SSS file transfer, then the default port is 22. Um, here you need to change to interactive. Uh, if normally it's asking you for a password, but that is um, uh, uh, disabled on our server. So we need to do this interactive using uh, the the pen file and now you you actually need to have the pen file added to your ssh key chain um, and that is basically it so we connect to that server okay and we get to the server now we can go to the var vvv folder however we are still connected as the ubuntu user so i will not be able to to like create a directory in this folder we could try web app 2 and it will just say permission denied so so we still need to to actually create the folder uh, web app sudo of course sudo make the directory web app 2 in our case and we need to change owner to ubuntu on web app 2 like that um okay uh, and we probably need to refresh that one are we able to do that by maybe doing that and that to force a refresh oh it's not there that is strange, I think. Okay, let's see if we can force it again. Or did I did I create it on, on the, in the wrong folder? Uh, no, it's there. Huh, strange. Uh, can we do a refresh? Well, we could. So we have the refresh button up there. So now we need to copy those files into this one. And this is a probably a more convenient way of doing it because now we can just basically drag the files that we like. I want the package station, I want the app.js and that's basically it. Uh, I don't want anything more. I don't want the node modules. I don't want the git, um, git folder. Uh, so by doing that, now we're in here, we can do an npm install minus production node or npm, uh, npm start. And we're up and running. Uh, of course, this, this is way more convenient if you just want to copy, copy some files uh, like this. Um, but I think it's good to, 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 to know both ways at least. Uh, there is a third option actually, uh, and we will have a look at that. Uh, and that is uh, for those of you using uh, Visual Studio Code, you could actually connect Visual Studio Code directly to the remote uh, SSH if you want to just have an easy way of, of just editing the files and trying stuff out. Um, this could be like a way if you, you would like to, to connect. Oh, well, you cannot, then you need to change a lot of like permissions if you want to add to do this on the on the nginx uh, per, maybe you could change the ownership actually to ubuntu on the some of the nginx uh, files if, if you would like to try but uh, 
this is an extension from uh, Microsoft. In this case, it's just a preview. Um, I've tried it. It's a little bit buggy, but 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 it works. It will give you this option of having adding servers here, and it's as easy as adding a plus and just writing the SSH Ubuntu stuff there. I've added my server, and I will open it. It will open in a new window. Um, it's connecting like that and now we can go to browse files we can open a folder in my case i would like to open var vvv okay oh that was actually slow it's often it's a bit faster so i'm curious to see if something went wrong of course something went wrong Reconnect. Boom. There we are. Uh, and now we're connected. Uh, so, so, so things like this that mm, is a bit buggy sometimes. However, we can see that we have all our applications. We have the crude application. Um, now it's trying to connect again. Well, I'm opening this one, the Express app. We could kind of change something on that one and hopefully save i'm trying to save it's reconnecting well it's a bit buggy but in theory at least you can try this and it it, it should work um so so now you basically have three ways we have the uh, visual studio code way uh, we have the uh, file scylla way uh, and we have the more common way of just copying files using the terminal. Um, we will look at other ways to getting the code to production as well.